Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick cage tour of Pat's March cage. There's no theme for this cage at all but it does have quite a lot going on so I'm just going to take the lid off and we can go through what items are in there. Okay so I've just slipped the lid off and this is what it looks like from above and there you can see Pat is just going into his sun bath. <laughs> oh. so Pat is, he walks around quite a lot during the day which I really like so maybe he'll model a few of the items for us while we're going around. Uh, we'll start where Pat started actually with this. Um, I don't even really know how to describe it, like what you would call it, but it has like a bunch of stairs and little compartments in it. I bought this for Pat's birthday. Well, I call it birthday, but we celebrated six month birthday. So this is what Pat got for his six month birthday. And uh, this was from Amazon. I think it was, it was around 11 pounds. I'm not really sure the prices on Amazon changed quite a bit, but there he is. <laughs> modeling how it works thank you pat <laughs> and as he comes out of the front here right next to him is this hanging chew uh this one is from pets at home and i've just attached it with a little clear hook and then we have his water bottle the same one i use for my Syrian. this is the living world glass one next to that we have his food bowl next to that we have a dinosaur chew and pat's coconut i use the coconut pretty much every time I redo his cage. I really like it, he really likes it. At the back we have some Katie tubes and an orange tube. Coming along the front we have this little TV hide. Uh, sometimes I'll put little treats in there. I know it's not the most effective at being a hide because it has a clear window at the front. Um, but I just, I really liked it and it does give him somewhere to go. And yeah, I hide treats in there quite a bit. Next we have the pepper shaped sand bowl, um, I really like this bowl even though next time I do hope to give him a larger area of sand, since I have just started using children's play sand um, I can like afford a much larger area and I think Pat would like that which is actually why I bought children's play sand in the first place. So um, I hope to do a similar thing to what I did in Bebo's cage this month which if you haven't seen that video I'll link it in the description where I used like a cardboard display tray I bought home from work and it gave a large area of sand but it was still separated nicely because when I tried to put sand in here separated by cardboard and bendy bridges it didn't hold at all so yeah I'll be trying that next month at the back we have his Trixie wheel so this is a smaller Trixie wheel and it's just in black then at the front we have a carrot chew and then some millet spray and then behind that is the train that was like a Christmas item at Pets at Home, but I really like this. So I've got it in there now. Behind that is like this playground that you slot together. I think I got this from Viover and it was one of those where you ordered it and you didn't know like exactly what shape it was going to be. But I really like this one. I originally ordered it for my Syrian because I find it really hard to find Syrian sized items everywhere. And I thought this was going to be bigger than it was. Um... But it's not really appropriate for Bebo, so I have got it in Pat's cage. Behind that we have a bendy bridge that just comes on top of this platform, which is actually um, a corner house from Suplus. Under there is a little chew, and on top we have a Spudnik house with natural care fresh in, which is actually what's under inside that house as well. There's care fresh in there, because I do like to give them a paper-based bedding where they sleep. Next to that we have one of my favourite hides and it's this little hippo one and inside there there is some um, confetti coloured care fresh as well. Next to that we have a loofah chew and then this two storey house. Okay so that is everything in Pat's March cage. He has had this cage already for a couple of weeks so I know everything's like a little messy um, but I didn't have time to film it after I'd just done the cage. So I filmed it now after I've just spot cleaned and this is what it looks like. Let me know what you thought of Pat's cage in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.